Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this comes to you for Wednesday, July the 19th, 2023. And this is a day which brings in conflict, questions, things that you don't want to deal with coming to the surface. And basically, there's a sense of change in the air that wants you to rise to your higher self. But you might not be ready to face that change. And what will reflect the most within your life is basically a conflict with others where you've not given space to people, intrusive toxic interactions, challenges with others, arguments. But this is all really a reflection of where it is that you're allowing toxicity to intervene in your life. And this is also asking you to finally take the holy scepter in your hand and say that I have the power. And this power never has to hurt someone else. This power is just to make you feel in charge of your life and be able to take those choices that you want to take. So again, there's no conflict really between mind and heart. This time the mind is actually alerting you and helping you focus and understand and know what it is that is not working in your life. And the heart is feeling that and reflecting it as emotion, emotional energy which might be draining and frustrating for the more empathic and sensitive. So this is a time to walk very carefully and be very kind to yourself. And not everything that you just feel in the moment, you just react to it, because that will just, you can say, add to the conflict and frustration and negativity. And the divine forces always supreme steps ahead of us already are pouring down a canopy of golden and white and violet flame-filled light. Though it's not reflected here in the card, just call this in. I call in the flame of change from the Akashic realm, from the universe, from the divine ones. So don't stop and just look at the moment and say, that's it. That doesn't define you. What doesn't work for you is alerting you then to take charge more of what does work for you and reflect that back as golden white light, transforming, transmuting negative immediately. That will also cut negative cords immediately. And if you have to do this more than once, do it for yourself this day because the archangel who's come forward is called the lioness of God. That doesn't mean that she helps us fight. She fights for the good. She fights for the righteous. She fights for the correct. For she is an angel at the end of the day. And angels only reflect light. They're supreme messengers of the light and the most unconditional form of energy that you can connect to. So give yourself this chance. If you've never given yourself this chance, do it this day. Look into her eyes, first of all, just embracing that power. I am powerful. The I am statements, go ahead and make make them for yourself. I am powerful. I'm intelligent. I'm wise. I'm loved and loving, I'm kind, I'm empathic. So you get the message and the idea of how to fill this for yourself. So again, the truth, your divine truth, your Akashic truth, reflects itself more in your feeling and your actions and your reactions and your interactions, most importantly, this day. That divine truth has never changed 
it just goes back in the background of daily conflict where you start to believe the drama of the earth is your divine truth because see the holy orb behind her that is the holy orb of the akashic space all of the divine ones are present within that the golden orb of cosmic intelligence coming into your thoughts literally and holding your thoughts because it's right behind her it's not really falling down as light why because it's protecting you reminding you changing and transmuting the unnecessary you don't have to give in to anything that does not work for you or serve you again this is not giving you a license to go and hurt someone else with cruel words this is saying remove cruelty from all interactions thoughts cords interactions that you have with others and conflicts will immediately be resolved even if you don't come in front of the person the akashic space the divine ones the angelic forces will ensure the highest and best is served for all be rest assured of that so don't feel like a victim and don't choose to suffer and definitely don't make someone else suffer because you're suffering find out what the reason is within you that is causing that pain and see her hair it's standing up again that's you saying i'm receptive to the light i invite the light in all forms to guide me and literally to fill my thoughts with bubbles of light and this holy orb of cosmic intelligence will find a way to reflect itself in a way that is best for you cuz see she's also holding a headrest which is shining with golden white and even orange vibrating light there's just nothing but light and vibrancy and happiness and confidence here no part of her is saying i'm weak but she has a face that is full of strength and power that is not demeaning that is not cruel or hurtful or hateful in any way see her face just to remind yourself again maybe you need to literally change expression on your face to feel better and her earrings the earrings of divine sound literally the voice of the angelic forces will come into your inner ear your mind will be speaking but your ears will be hearing in a very different manner again support understanding healing change action steps recuperation mo- removal of fear rising above all of that is given to you and actually you're being asked to claim it so claim it because see the beautiful rainbow rays sitting near her ho- uh, throat chakra in a whole and holy manner this is you complete and whole fulfilled you can choose one color several colors and verbalize it that's why you choose what is it that no longer works for you and transmute it and keep on using this invocation to remind yourself of what you are doing so that if you're in a workspace or in a space where you cannot really <laughs> lash out or say something in a dramatic manner you don't have to thank you ariel for helping me stand my ground with peace so why you have to stand up for yourself dear one do don't just give in and say i'll i'll see it some other time or think about it or this is just how my life is don't go into all that if all, all those thoughts of victimhood or suffering come up that this is just part of my karma and something i've done incorrectly in the past is coming to me now all of that again change it with her wings of change to the left and right side of her 
release the past and all karmic baggage that you bring into this moment. You've been given all the power to do that and all the help of the universe. Every instrument of light is with you and the right fiery wings are helping you then bring that change, invite that change, be part of that change and create that change with the divine ones. So take a moment to just soak in the colors. There's so much light pouring through this image. And she's got her hands up. So even look at the hands and open your palm for a moment and receive it. And take a deep breath in. You're protected, you're safe, you're secure. Nothing in your world has changed. All that you thought, oh my God, this is not going to happen. Or my day is going to go wrong or my life will never change. All of that, gone. Whatever statements of negativity you bring up for yourself, they will keep, keep on coming. That's okay. Change them then. Receive this light and change it with that scepter she holds in her hand. This is the scepter of manifestation, healing, fulfillment, helping you to go forward. And look at that light that is shining on the top of the scepter. Choose to send that wherever you want to to your future, to clear away the past, to clear conflict with family, to clear worries about work or finances or inviting abundance or lacking abundance, your physical home, your physical environment. Maybe you have a negative home environment or negative energy within your home. Don't choose to live in that anymore. It's not your divine truth. Nor is it invited or wished for you. The Divine Ones want to see you smiling, happy, fulfilled, and laughing. Literally laughing, enjoying life. So go ahead and look into this scepter of inviting change. And use your powers of manifestation and co-creating with God. Because that's what the Divine Forces want you to do. And burn away the rest. Burn away where? Into the background behind her. There's literally a holy fire. A landscape. A fire behind her. That is acting as a canopy of light. Like the sky covering you. This canopy covers you and burns away. Again, the useless, the old the intrusive, the unwanted, none of that. Don't accept anything that is unacceptable this day. But it is not giving you again a license to go and argue or fight with people. Anger just produces more anger. So don't go down to that level. In fact, find with her a way to cross that, to rise above all the old ways of reacting to the most difficult of situations. There's nothing that is insurmountable because she has the lion of protection, safety, and power right there in her heart chakra. That is guarding your heart. And see how the lion is changing your environment here and now, sending rays of golden Yellow, orange, white, the fire of God. First of all, all within you, wherever your chakras are depleted or holding the unnecessary, first of all, clear them. You'll immediately feel a change in your physical body and you'll be that much more ready to give to the rest that is needed. You're ready, right? I'm ready. You can feel it. Already a change is coming, instantaneous change. And if you need to reinforce this throughout the day, reactivate this lion of change because the lioness of God 
is enabling you and helping you. And she's tireless and unconditional and present. But remember the one rule of the angelic forces. She needs to be called upon and believed and asked to come forward. That's not so hard to do. Archangel Ariel, I need your help to help me feel confident and courageous about. And change the sentence for yourself. And then you can use whatever instrument you want, the golden palms of change or the golden bracelet of protection, the holy lion of courage and power, the scepter of manifestation, the headrest to just protect your thoughts and just come back to a state of peace and balance, to receive and continue receiving and be in a receptive state and courageous and open, optimistic about everything. Choose as many instruments as you want, but keep on inviting them this day. And peaceful warrior, that's what you will become, a peaceful warrior for the light, for you, for fulfillment, for enhancement of the good, and to rise above all that you thought is insurmountable and literally producing miracles because changes will come because you chose to be part of that change. The earth is changing all the time. You just have to be part of that rhythm. And again, as has been reinforced throughout this message, just burn away the unnecessary. This day, don't give in to any of that old way of reacting. And don't choose to suffer. Just do what the angelic forces tell you as an action plan, as steps, physical steps, mental steps, prayers, meditation, however it is that you want to approach the light, that is also open to you because your heart is now ready, excited about the change and wanting to invite the change. See how much you can do. Already it's getting better and it will only get better and better. Because again, because she is an angelic force and part of the angels, she will not bind you to just working with her. Create in that holy landscape behind you the wall of light that works best with you, symbols. Perhaps you work with Reiki. You know, the divine ones, whoever you think is your protector, divine form of mother, Divine Father, the Lords, maybe in the elemental kingdoms. Powerful symbols that you connect with, words of power, mantras of power. It's all up to you. But hold that thought that, yes, I have all of this. And I can use these instruments. Just choose to use them. Again, your mind might be so conflicted that you're just busy focusing on the problem. Instead, look back into your eyes and say, what it is that I need to know right now? And how is, how is it that I need to be? And how is it that I need to react? These three things will take you forward in this day and you will succeed in every way that you hope to, dear one. It's assured to step into this golden day and you are a golden one just remember that never ever forget that you're loved and lovable precious in every way and this comes as an angel prayer an angel's prayer from Kyle Gray and Kyle can be reached at k-y-l-e-g-r-a-y dot co dot u-k and the supreme fire of the universe burning so beautifully through this image and connecting us so beautifully to Archangel Ariel comes to us from Lily Moses and Lily can be reached at L-I-L-Y-M-O-S-E-S dot com and this is Tina signing off for now have a superb day affirming your divine truth and peace and may your heart be at peace and every realm of your life reflect this 
So this is Tina signing off for now. Bye-bye.